Greg Afarian here, and I'm, uh, you know, usually I do a, a formal market report, but I'm just going to go over the headline stories in today's market. No real uh, economic news regarding homes, home sales, uh, at least none that I saw that was worth uh, talking about. Last week we did get existing home sales, and they were they were pretty bad. But, you know, this week... You know they're talking about the jobs report, and it was it was down three tenths of a percent. Big deal to nine point seven percent. I mean that's if that's really a smoke screen, smoke <laughs> smoke screen. I mean that has no significance whatsoever. Bottom line is unemployment's at ten percent, and that's it. You know, it's a it's a it's a weak number. Uh, there's nothing good about that report. Uh, the market is showing it. It's down. This this week has been horrible. Uh, market's down below 10,000. Um, you know, they always say, as goes January, so does the market. And January was uh, one of the worst months, worst January ever. February is starting to work out to be the same. These banks, these big institutional financial companies, got billions and billions of of dollars from the American taxpayer. This week, AIG, Visa, Bank of America, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, they're all in the news. They're all making uh, big profits. And, you know, it just really leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Uh, Today, Jamie Dimon, they, they released his compensation for 2009, his bonuses which he's going to receive $16.1 million for 2009. I mean, I really, it really disgusts me that, you know, they're rewarding these CEOs for their job that they did. Um, I mean, they, they didn't do a good job. And frankly, uh, I'm wondering why not, none of them went to jail. Uh, I've, been, I've been saying this for a long time. Uh, there was definitely corporate fraud going on at the higher level. You know, AIG, they reported that they were lending, they were giving out $100 million worth of bonuses uh, this week. I mean, come on. Why isn't anyone upset about this? And you know what? The economy isn't doing well. And, you know, these people to be rubbing it in everyone's face, you know, rubbing it in everyone's face with millions and millions of dollars of bonuses where the taxpayer was the one that helped bail them out, bail out, thus the word, you know, and where the American people, what are they getting out of this, you know? What about a cross-the-board tax cut for everyone that pays taxes? How about that? You know, Why do you just give a certain portion of the people a tax break, like the cash for clunkers or... The first time home buyer program. Now they're offering it to anyone, sixty five hundred dollars. Big deal. You know? What if someone doesn't buy a home? What if they bought a home years ago and then paying their mortgage? How about some kind of credit? You know? What is this? You know? This is what's wrong with, you know, things that are going on in Washington, you know, and they can't continually spend money. To prosperity. I mean, it just doesn't happen that way. The market is definitely showing that it's not impressed. And, you know, one factor that you want to keep in mind. Now, this would be the time that you would buy a little stocks. You would buy some stocks, you know, just like in the real estate market. This would be the time to be buying real estate, uh, being careful, seeing what good deals are out there. But one factor that you got to keep in mind is a 10-year treasury. 10-year Treasury right now is telling you that it's not impressed, things aren't looking good. Once a 10-year Treasury starts to go up, it's right around 3.6%. Once it starts going up, then that means that it's a green light and, you know, things are going to start to recover. But until then, I don't know. You got to be careful. You definitely have to be careful. (sighs) I don't know. It's just, you know, I'm... I'm really passionate about this stuff, the economy, stocks, real estate. It's upsetting because, I don't know, I I don't know if, 
most people don't really care or they just tune it out, which that's a smart idea. You know, it, it, it's smart to tune a lot of this out. But the bottom line is that, you know, you got to help out the working man, right? <laughs> I mean, that's really what it's all about. You got to help out the people that are paying taxes, not the Jamie Dimons and the AIGs and the Bank of America CEO who got a bonus this year and all this other crap. Anyways, that's my two cents. Let me know if you need anything. Give me a call. Send me a tweet. I'd rather you send me a DM on Twitter or send me a message on Facebook using the social media or, or send me a video message. But anyways, let me know if you need anything. Greg Affarian, out for now.